Trash troubles in East Longmeadow, a code enforcement banning bigger bins comes as a surprise to many residents. As a result, their trash was left by the curbside. All this week, the town's health department has been flooded with calls over the issue. Tonight, the health department director speaks to Western Mass News to try to clear things up. Not everyone's trash in East Long Meadow got picked up this week. Beginning Monday, any barrel over 35 gallons would be left curbside. Health Director Amy Petrosky tells Western Mass News the problem actually started last winter when for weeks some residents did not have a single trash pickup from the contracted hauler, a company called Republic. In December and January, th three or four weeks where Republic was having issues and couldn't get the trash off the ground for our residents. A whole lot of residents not happy. Yeah, and rightfully so. I mean, if your trash isn't getting picked up and it's something you're paying for, it's uh, something you should be able to expect. The problem, Republic told the town residents simply have too much trash. Our trash tonnage had been constantly going up and uh, they were having to leave town more often to go to dump it because they can't dump it in town so they take it out. And if the trucks aren't on the road in East Long Meadow, they're not picking up trash. So Come to find out, Petrosky says a 35-gallon barrel has actually been town law, so to speak, for 10 years when East Long Meadow launched a new recycling program. It's been in effect since 2008. Um, it just at some point along the way stopped being enforced. So in July, Petrosky says together with the trash company, they launched a public education campaign. And this month, residents not in compliance who had those bigger bins would still get their trash picked up, but trash workers would slap one of these stickers on the barrel. A warning to comply by this week or their trash would not be accepted. The problem is residents on dozens of streets never got the warning. We have no answer from Republic on why. While unfortunate and understandably frustrating, Petrosky says the town is offering two free green trash bags to affected residents working hard to make things right there. Petrosky says contract negotiations for a trash hauler begin in 2020. Whether it's the current company or not, she says the town is looking at standardized barrel systems like many other cities and towns currently have. She says the barrels could possibly be bigger and cost of the cans would be rolled into the cost of the contract.